What sets Vincotech power modules apart from discretes? The standard power grid voltage and frequency are fixed, so the motor runs at a constant speed determined by the given line frequency. The most convenient way of adjusting an electric motor speed and torque is to use a frequency inverter to generate variable voltages and frequencies. Power semiconductors are needed to convert the fixed AC into DC voltage and then back to variable AC voltage. This can be done with a handful of discrete components or with a power module. It takes several steps to mount discrete components to a PCB and heatsink. Pins need to be crimped and cut. All components have to be inserted into the PCB and each pin must be soldered. One soldering pass usually takes 5 to 8 seconds. So soldering all components into the PCB takes quite some time. The remaining components are inserted relatively quickly as indicated by the timer on top. Some material needs to be applied to create a proper thermal interface to the heat sink. The heat sink itself also needs thermal interface material and an intermediate isolation foil. Now everything is ready to be mounted together. Each component has to be affixed to the heat sink. Set up screws are used in this example to facilitate assembly. Electrical behavior is just as important as the mechanical assembly. The blue lines show the power conversion path from the input terminals to the output. Many discrete components have to be connected to the heat sink, which complicates the mechanical design and layout. This is where a power module comes into play. A DCB substrate provides an electrically well-isolated base for the module. Semiconductors may be added wherever they are needed. The number of components is only limited by the size of the DCB, and the module can accommodate practically every topology. Pins provide all the necessary connections for semiconductors to components outside the module. The housing is designed to mount easily to the heat sink while a soft gel provides electrical isolation. Powerful features such as pre-applied phase change material and press fit pins for solder-free interconnection further boost reliability, efficiency, and performance. The higher the number of components and current, the sooner a module pays off. Paralleling discrete components involves a lot of effort. Semiconductors, however, are readily paralleled in a power module using bond wires. If a given housing cannot accommodate all devices, simply step up to the next module size. And implementing different topologies is just as easy. Vincotech power modules offer even more benefits on top of all this. They are very compact, and pins may be positioned freely. Assembly couldn't be easier. The module is pressed into the PCB, so a few screws are all it takes to mount the entire system to the heat sink. Twelve mm and seventeen mm housings are available for lower power ratings. They leave plenty of space for other components such as driver ICs and passive components between the module and PCB. Commutation paths are short to minimize stray inductance, improve switching behavior, and reduce overvoltage spikes.
power module is easier to handle than a discrete solution and requires fewer components, so devices are less complex and can be assembled that much faster. What's more, a power module is a pre-tested subsystem that enhances the overall system's reliability. When it comes to inverter applications, Vincotech power modules beat discrete components at every turn, and that makes them the solution of choice for engineers tasked to design inverters. Vincotech. Empowering your ideas.